Check, check, check. Can you hear me? Can you see me and can you hear me? Check, 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 check. All right. We are going to get started, everybody. It's 105. Welcome to BarFit. Um, this is a 40-minute bar class, Bar Express, okay? So I'm going to try to have us done in time, 145. We're going to start off with some standing bar work, and then we'll move down to the floor for a little bit of Pilates abs today. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get warmed up. We'll chat. I'm going to turn everything up here. Testing. Check, check, check. Okay, can you hear me, friends? Can you hear me? Can you uh, hear the music? Can you see me? Anyone? You guys are like, where's yoga? <laughs> Yoga's moved, okay? Yoga is on WebEx now. Um, this is BarFit. I'm Dina, so get on up. Uh, we're going to get warmed up before we begin. You'll need something to use as a bar, and if you want to use a light weight, you can. Okay. Your choice, your decision. Are you ready? Let's stand up with a slight bend in the knees, core pulled in tight, shoulders down and relaxed. Good. We're going to inhale both arms up. Let's go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach down, and then we're going to round the back and then open the chest. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up release and then round the back and open the chest one more time inhale reach up release round the back open the chest okay let's go to a narrow squat sink and rise sink back so we're sitting those hips back here yes keep this going i'm going to turn one more light on it feels really dark to me here today how's that is that better Okay, let's add a releve. We're gonna squat and lift up on the toes. So make sure you're sitting back. And then lift up nice and high on your toes. Can you lift your heels up? Good. Let's go. We have four more here. Up, three, two. Next one, we're gonna hold at the top. Hold it there. Lift up a little higher on your toes. And then circle the wrists down. Lower the heels down. Okay, take a slightly wider stance. Let's squat with our feet a little bit further apart here. Great. Warming up. We're gonna layer on by adding a little side lean. So squat, side lean. Good. I'm hoping you can hear me and see me. I don't see any comments today. So I'm gonna take that as a good sign that you're moving with me here. Eight more. Sink and reach. So stretch the side of the body here. So glad you're with me for this new class. I'm excited. Good, okay, let's pulse it down with the palms together. So create a little heat in those thighs here. Keep that core nice and tight. Press the palms together, great. And rise up okay take the feet a little bit wider again okay so we keep bringing them out a little bit further and take a side lunge with me let's get the knees warmed up great and then sink a little bit lower press your hips back beautiful side to side lunge okay just a little add to this we're gonna reach for the opposite heel And if it feels good, you can reach your back arm and lift it. If that doesn't feel so good on your shoulders, you can keep it down a little bit. Good. Seven, six. Start moving with me, yes. Okay, we're gonna hold this side, hold this side. Turn your toe out, bend that knee, and drop your arm to your thigh. Reach the arm over, take a nice long stretch. Great. Release. Come up. Change legs. So turn that other toe out. 
lower yourself down. That knee lines up with your ankle. Rest your arm on your thigh. Stretch over to the side. Reach long through your fingertips. Good. And release. Okay, come back up to the center. Walk the feet in, toe heel, toe heel. Walk the feet in. Good, okay. Let's make sure that we're fully warm. We're gonna reach the arms up overhead and lift alternating knees. Up, up, great. Chest is lifted here. Let's just add a little twist, little twist. Good. So we're adding a little core rotation. And we're doing a slight turnout with that knee. Now back to center, center knees. Just bring the elbows in and out. Great, center knees. Spine is tall, chest is lifted, chin is up. Yes, for four, three, and then reach the hands up. Keep going with the knees, good, beautiful. And now we're gonna touch our insole, alternating touch the insole. Yes, so we're turning the hip out here, making sure the thighs are warm and ready for eight, seven, six, four, three, two, in the center, inhale. And roll down, roll down, and roll up through the spine. Okay, quick little warm up there. Let's begin with our standing bar work. So you'll need that bar, whatever you're using as a bar. I'm gonna use a one pound weight today. So I was gonna use a three, but I changed my mind. <laughs> All right, I'm using a one pound weight. You can use no weight. You can use a heavier weight. You can use ankle weights, wrist weights, whatever you want. Just go at your own pace, okay? So we're placing one hand lightly on the bar. Feet are parallel. Extend the outside leg forward. Rotate the knee out. The arm is lifted and the hand is just below the shoulder. Stand nice and tall. From here, we're gonna start to pulse that front leg up with the pointed toe. So pulse up with the pointed toe. Now we're gonna flex the foot and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, great. And then go back to the pointed toe for eight. Seven, six, so we're not lifting high. We're lengthening through the leg. Back to the flex foot for eight, eight, seven, six, really squeeze. Is your knee rotated out, double check, and then point, point the toes, good. Squeeze, so we're squeezing, we're not lifting high. This is gonna focus on the inner thigh. Flex here, flex, good. And point the toes. Very nice, so stand tall, lift up out of that supporting hip. One more set, flex the foot for eight, seven. So really press your heel up towards the sky here, activating the inner thighs, and then point. Can you extend your leg longer? That's the name of the game, friends. Okay, hold it at the top, hold it there. Release slowly, bring your heels together. We're gonna open out to a three count plie. So you can watch here. We're gonna open, two, three, and then squeeze in. When you squeeze in, you bring your heels together. You bring the arm in. If you're not using weight, you follow along with the same arm movement. Beautiful. Squeeze the heels together. We're gonna add on. Be ready for the next time. Now listen, when we come in, releve, Melt down and melt up. Back to the plie. Out, two, three, releve. Melt down and melt up. Plie, out, two, three, releve. So heels together as you melt down. Let's rock and roll again. Out, two, three, releve. Melt down and melt up again. So it's open three. Then you lift up releve on your toes, melt down, melt up. Again, out, two, three, yes. I think we're gonna rock four more of these, let's go. So it's open, two, three, releve. Knees are open on that. Three more, open, 
Releve. Come on, core is nice and tight. Two more, friends. Open. Toes are out. And then we melt down. Ooh, I almost missed that one. It's open. Let me try again. Releve. Okay, come back down and hold. We're gonna hold in place here. So the arm is relaxed, shoulders are relaxed, neck is long, heels are glued together. And sink your seat down towards the middle of your heels. Hold here. So you're not sitting back. You're dropping your tailbone straight down between your heels. The knees are pressed back. Could you sink down another inch? Only if your knees are happy, okay? Could you sink down one more inch? Eight, seven. Go to where you're challenged, but not in pain. Okay, that's important. And release, good. We're gonna lean slightly on the bar, lightly with the arm, leaning to the side. Rest your weight on your outer thigh and lift the leg out to the side. Okay, so if you're not using any weight, you can just have your hand on your hip here. From here, we're gonna lower in singles and lift. Lower and lift. Rotate your toe to face the front. Squeeze the leg up. Okay, so I'm leaning a little bit, but very little weight is on the bar here. So I want the majority of the weight in the supporting heel. Yes. One more set of eight. So lower and squeeze. Can you lengthen that leg even more? Remember, that's the name of the game here. Length, not height, okay, usually. So it's lower and lift. Hold it at the top, a little faster, down down so we're actually pulsing down here the neck is long is your knee still rotated to the front of the room as your toes as well check it out hold it at the top we're gonna do little pumps we're gonna pump and bend pump and bend can we speed this up a little faster small pump out 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 come on push for four three two okay Hold it there, lower down slowly. Lower down slowly. And stand up, reset your arm, reset your shoulders. We're gonna take a three count rear lunge into an attitude. So it's like this, back, two, three, and then attitude. So attitude, you wanna focus on the external rotation of the hip. And your big toe is just behind your knee. Come on. So that's about as dancey as we're gonna get, guys, <laughs> with the attitude today. And the releve, that's about as dancey as we get in my class. Good. One more. It's down, two. Now we're gonna hold the attitude. Hinge two, and then stand up two. Hinge two. So your body's like a seesaw here. You hinge at the hips. And I want you to continue to keep your leg in that attitude position. So the knee is turned out. Woo, are your hips still square to the floor? Double check, you're like a seesaw. Yeah, you dig me? Good job. Four more like this. Remember, we're working with control here. Keep that turn out with the back leg. One more time. You're doing great. Okay, we're gonna lean forward and hold. Weight is at the waist. Come out of your attitude a little bit and just pulse your bent knee up. Pulse your bent knee up. So, it's at a 90 degree angle. I'm leaning forward slightly here. We're gonna pulse this forward for four, three, and then pulse the knee back for four. So we're traveling with the pulse. Pulse forward for four, yes. Very small, so the leg stays at a 90 degree angle. And the foot and the knee are kind of on the same plane. Okay, good, come on. You have two more. Woo, everybody get up, get up. Come on, hang in there with me. Is your core pulled in? Okay, keep it here, but watch. We're gonna extend the heel back. Extend the heel back. How much weight is on your bar? Not much. Most of the weight is in that supporting leg. Actually, it's all in the supporting leg. Maybe 5% on your bar. Eight more, eight, woo! We are gonna get some results, friends, with this class. Let me tell you, stick with it. Four more, four. 
reach. Are you reaching the heel back? Hold it there. Hold it there. Okay, little presses, little pumps, little pumps. Give me that little teeny, teeny pulse. So it's reach, small bend, small bend. Only four. Then we're done with this. Okay, slowly put the leg down. Great. Let's come to a turnout. Second position, wide stance. Bend your knees. Release the bar. From here, we're going to pulse down. So imagine that your spine is sliding up against the wall. Okay. You shouldn't be like a sumo here leaning forward. Your spine is tall. Your knees are tracking with your second and third toe. Now hold it at the bottom. We're going to lift alternating heels. Lift alternating heels. Can you sink down another inch? Maybe. I want to know, okay? Be honest with yourself because nothing here should hurt, but you should be able to feel challenged without having knee pain, without having back pain, okay? So I'm going to help you through that. Four more. Four. But, you know, it's bar, so there's going to be a little bit of blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, a little faster with the heels. Run the heels. Run the heels. Woo! See, my notice my head is not bouncing up and down. Oh, come on. Work your body. One more set. Can you sink a little lower? Woo! Now we're going to freeze both heels up. Sink as low to your lowest point where you're okay. Press your knees back and then lower your heels down. Okay. We're done with that. Walk the feet in. We're going to go into some standing seat work here before we switch legs. So stick with me. You, you can put, actually put your weight off to the side for this part. All right. So we're going to face our bar. Walk your feet back a little bit. Soft bend in the elbows. Shift all the weight into your supporting leg and then extend the other leg back. I don't care which one you choose. Okay, hinge forward with a tall spine. Draw your core in tight and gently lift and extend the back leg. Square your hips to the floor. We're gonna lower the toe in single. Touch and lift, touch and lift. Oh, okay. So we are not lifting the leg high. What I'm looking for is for you to squeeze your quadricep muscle in order to lengthen the leg, okay? So that's what's making the leg longer, by squeezing your quadricep, your thigh. Yeah, make sense? Great. You're like, not really. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll all, it'll all make sense. Just keep your hips square to the floor, shoulders square to the floor. Leg is long, and most of the weight is in your support leg here. How much weight is on the bar? Not much, right? Hold it at the top. One inch down, one inch down, one inch up. So I don't want you to have lower back pain from this series. That means don't lift the leg as high and start to arch your back. You will get your glute work by squeezing more and lifting less, okay? Trust me. Squeeze. It's one inch down, one inch down. Yeah, it's small, small, intense. Now we're gonna pulse down, down, down. Can you squeeze your glute any tighter? And can you sink into the supporting leg a little bit more? Okay, so two things to think about there. Beautiful. Okay, hold that leg. Reposition your hips so they're square to the floor. Now listen up. We're gonna bend the supporting knee in singles. Bend the supporting knee down and up. Now, as you're bending, you should still feel like that back leg is reaching back. Okay, good. Come on. You have four more. Four. Three. Two. Now we're going to pulse the supporting knee down. So smaller, smaller. Good. Can you sink into it a little bit more? Now, don't forget to extend the back leg. Keep it long. Keep reaching through the toes of your back leg. And hold, hold. Okay, maybe here, you lift your core. 
you can either stay where you are in balance or you can try to release one arm, maybe both arms, and lengthen to your longest point. Hold for four, four, keep breathing. Three, get longer. Two, get stronger. Okay, release, good job. The leg that was going up and down, I want you to cross it over the other leg and sit back. Woo. Okay, uncross, that was your quick stretch. Let's change legs, so we'll go right to the other leg. Soften both knees, elbows are soft. Slide that other leg back, the one you did flip, you're doing that one this time, okay? Soft bend in the support knee. Extend that working leg, and singles, we're gonna touch the toe down and up. Touch the toe and lift. Each time you lift, you are purposely squeezing the glute. Could you sink into the supporting leg a little bit more? So, how much weight is on the bar, friends? Not much. I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record today, but I mean it, okay? I want most of the weight in the supporting leg. Come on. Are you sweating a little now? Yeah. Oh, I always sweat in bar. <laughs> All right, remember to square your hips to the floor. And is your knee still rotated downward? Double check. Four, three, come on. Soften that supporting knee. Hold it at the top. One inch down, one inch up. One inch down, one inch up. Could you get your back leg any longer? How do we do that? By squeezing the quadricep muscle to your front of your thigh. Good, come on. One inch, small, small. Who's with me today? I don't even know. I think Rocio's out there somewhere. Maybe Premila. <laughs> Woo. Are you ready to pulse? Pulse it down, down, down. Okay, square your hips to the floor. Weight in the supporting leg. Could you sink into the supporting leg a little bit more? So if you can, do it. Yeah. Woo! Let's get happy. Okay, hold that back leg in place. Core is pulled in tight. We're gonna bend the supporting knee in singles. And remember what I said before about imagining that you're reaching your back leg back as you're bending. Eight more. Come on. Let's go. This is a 40 minute class, guys, so we gotta knock this out. You know what I mean? Four, three, and then we're gonna pulse for the next 16 counts. Now we're pulsing down. Come on. Check that knee. Make sure it's still rotating to the floor here. That's important. Eight. Seven. Oh, this is the fun part, right? <laughs> Woo. Okay, hold it up there. Maybe you release one arm. Maybe you release both arms. Wherever you are, lengthen through your fingertips. Hold it. Four. Hold it. Three. Come on. Let. Don't let go. Okay, now put it down. Good job. Woo. Okay, so that was our standing seat work. Done. Go back to your bar. Now, guess what? We gotta change sides. So if you were holding a weight, go get it. I got my one pounder here. Toes are, feet are parallel to begin. Lift the arm out in front of your chest, okay? Take your outside leg, rotate it out so your knee is pointing out. Lift it a little bit, then lengthen it. We're gonna start to pulse with a pointed leg, pointed toe. Here we go, up. Six, five, four, three. Now flex the foot. So reach with your heel. Yes. Yeah, we gotta do the other side, guys. I hate to break it to you. Point, point, point. Keep reaching your leg longer. Yes. Now flex. Up, up. That arm is just holding there for stability. But make sure the wrist is a little below the shoulder. Point, point. Woo. Yes, stand tall, stand strong, and flex, because you are an amazing bar warrior. Yes, you are. One more round, point, for eight. Come on, squeeze it, it's small, small and tight. Squeeze, 
flex it. Small. Yeah. There's not a lot of hoopsy do there, but oh boy, you're feeling the inner thigh. I hopefully you are. Good. Okay. Bring the heels together. We're moving into our three count plie. So we open three and then squeeze it in. Open three, two, one, squeeze it in. Beautiful. So now that the body's a little bit warmer, you can start to sink into that plie a little bit deeper, if you wish. Are your knees pressed back? Guess what, friends? Next time we're adding on. We have the releve. And then melt down, melt up. Again, so we open three, two, releve, melt down, melt up. Again, three, whoo, releve, knees open. Yes, again, so it's open, two, three, releve, slow. Keep going, four more total. Releve. Come on, keep pressing the knees back. You don't have to go too low on that. Come on, plie. Listen to your knees, okay? And then releve. Melt. Can you give me two more? You got this. Woo! Releve. Melt down. These are very effective, and you can do them without a lot of knee strain, I've figured out, by not going as low. Okay, this time we're going to hold it at the bottom. Hold it at the bottom, relax your shoulders, press your heels together, and feel all 10 toes pressed into the floor here. Good. Could you sink down another inch? Could you press your knees back a tiny bit? Hold. Now I want you to breathe into the next set of eight. You have eight, seven, six. You got this. And if you want to sink a tiny bit lower just for the challenge, watch your knees though. Press your heels together. Okay, and come on up. Woo, very good. Okay, lean your body slightly. Place the weight on the outer thigh. Toes and knees rotate forward. Lift the leg, and we're gonna lower down and up. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Beautiful. So if you need a break, guys, you take it, okay? Breaks are encouraged because I'd rather you take a minute to get your alignment, you know, back, and then start again when you're ready. Because it's really important for bar. Yes, eight more. So you lower and lift. Anytime you need one, take a break, including water, okay? Woo! We're going to do this. Yes, we are. Okay, we're gonna hold it at the top, hold it at the top. How about one inch down, one inch up? One inch down, one inch up. Give me four more, that's it. Then we have those bends. Do you remember the bends from before? Keep the leg lifted. So we're gonna bend in and press. Check your knee, make sure it's still rotated forward and you're still leaning a little bit. Now pulse, out, out, out. Press through that heel, come on. Let's go, you have eight. Come on, I know you have this in you, okay? So it's mind over body right now. Just tell yourself you got this. For four, try not to lean and sink into the support hip. Okay, hold it up there, hold it up there. Woo, take it down slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, great. But bring the arm back to our position here. We're gonna take our three count lunge, lunge and then attitude. Back, two, three, attitude. Yes, is your chest lifted? So on that attitude, remember, we're focusing on the external rotation of the back hip. Woo, yes, and that big toe is just kissing your calf and then right back down. Yes, yes, you got it. Hang in there. Hang in there. It's going to go by fast, guys. Four more. Attitude. Yeah, we're going to end the class with Pilates abs later, so don't go away for that. <laughs> That's your teaser. Okay, last one like this. Hold. We're going to hinge two in the attitude. Hinge and then stand up. Hinge at the hips 
and then stand up. Hinge. Woo! Oh, baby. Can you give me four more? Now, is your leg still in that attitude position where it's rotated externally? Check it out. Yeah, you're like a seesaw here. Remember, we're like this. Beautiful. We're gonna come down and hold. Weight is at the hip here. Come out of your attitude a little bit. Lighten your fingers on the bar. Start to pulse the leg up, up, up. Okay, soften your supporting knee a little bit. Keep pulsing, come on, up, up. Breathe through this, yes. Up, up. Now we're gonna start to pulse forward. So we're gonna move up, two, three, and then pulse back, back, two. Now this does not have to be high. Okay, guys, so if your back is barking at you, then just lower the leg a little bit. But I want the knee and the ankle even. Yeah. One more. Okay, oh baby. We're gonna bring it to the back, and then we're gonna extend the heel back and squeeze it in. Press back, squeeze in. Yes, you can do this. Could you reach through your heel even more? Eight more. Come on. Pull that core in. Keep the shoulders down. The neck is long. Four more. Squeeze, press to the back wall. Yes. Woo. And then little babies, little babies. Push, push, push. Tiny. Your smallest, your tightest, your most intense. Eight, seven, six. Woo. Okay, and release. Good job. All right, come back to your plie. Find a plie that feels good to you, okay? You can hold the weight in the middle here like me, or you can just have your hands on your hips. We're gonna pulse down in a plie. Make sure your knees are pressed back. Good. Chin is tall, chest lifted. Yes. You're not straightening the leg fully. This is a pulse. Now we're gonna hold it at the bottom one heel and maybe lift the other heel okay both heels up could you sink your tailbone down between your heels a little bit come on you have eight counts here breathe seven six come on give me your strongest hold are your knees pressed back Woo. okay this is gonna be tiny we're gonna shift the hips side to side Shift the hips side to side. Now you can always put your heels down. For four, it's a little hip shift. Little hip shift, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay, come on up. Great job, everybody. Let's go down to the floor for Pilates abs. So if you have a mat, you'll wanna grab it. Okay. Let's go down to the floor. This is a 40 minute class. I'm gonna try to end on time. We might go a minute over today just because I think I started a little late. How'd that go for you? I have no idea what's going on out there, guys. I see there's like 14 people here, but I don't know. I don't hear anything. Hopefully you're fine. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Pilates abs, okay? So let's begin with the feet flat, knees bent, shoulders pressed down, chest tall. We're gonna roll down slowly through the spine. Walk the hands down the back of your thighs. Take your time getting there and imprint your spine down onto the mat. Good job. Okay, from here, go ahead and bend the knees. Lift those shoulders up off the mat. Head is lifted and shoulders are lifted, okay? We're gonna start with a single leg pull. So we're gonna alternate pulling the knee into the chest. It's a little double hold. Double hold and double hold. Eight more, eight, Woo. seven. So the shoulders are lifted. Your eyes are kind of like on your belly button here. Keep going, double pull. Your elbows are open. They're like a circle. Yeah, four more sets, four. Whew, come on, keep those shoulder blades up. Use that core. 
You have four. Keep pulling the navel to the spine. Good. Okay, with straight legs now, scissor kick and switch. Scissor kick. So, how straight can you have your legs and how low do you want to bring them to the floor? That is your decision, friends. Okay? That's completely modifiable for you. You go to where you feel challenged with no pain. Okay? Is your shoulders and your head still lifted? Or are they still lifted, I should say? You have four, four, whew, three, elbows open, two, one. Okay, watch, we're gonna tuck the knees into the chest and then reach both the arms and the legs out. Tuck the knees in, reach arms and legs out. Eight more, and reach, good. So don't throw the head back when you reach the arms back. The weight of the head is still forward. The shoulders are still lifted but you're reaching the arms next to the ears and then squeezing them in. Four more. Woo! Baby, is this fun? <laughs> I feel bad because you guys don't have Pilates right now, okay? I'm feeling a little guilty about it, so here we go. <laughs> okay, hold it here, hold it here. Hands behind the head. Turn your legs out into a Pilates V, so your heels are together, your inner thighs are squeezing. We're gonna lower the legs down two counts. Down two and up two. So from the other angle, see how my legs are turned out slightly in a little Pilates V. Yeah, and your inner thighs are squeezing. Okay, lower the legs to a bicycle. We're gonna twist and twist. So we rotate and twist. Woo! That's a double pump on each side. Keep your elbows back. Are you breathing? Let's go. Guys, this series is like legendary for strengthening the abdominals, okay? What I need from you is I need you to keep the shoulders up. Keep your head up. Do your best. How about singles? Twist and twist. Almost there. Almost there. Now. What if you reached the leg out more as you twist? Yeah, reach the extended leg out more. Okay, both legs up. We're gonna go into a hundred here. This is gonna be our last exercise, okay? So for the hundred, legs are extended. Pilates V, squeeze your inner thighs together. Lift your shoulders and your head and lower your legs to an angle where you can maintain your back flat on the mat. We're gonna start to pump the arms like you were slapping water with the length of your arms. So we're gonna inhale five and exhale five. Keep this going. Inhale. Now, if it hurts your back, then do it with the legs straight or bend your knees, okay? If you want more, lower your legs to a lower angle, but never at the risk of your lower back bothering you. So be careful, okay? We're halfway there. Woo. So no spaghetti arms here. I want strong arms. Reach long through the fingers. Woo. Three more sets. And exhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. This is your last one. Inhale. And hold it there. Okay, bend your knees. Roll yourself up. Come to a modified teaser. Modified teaser. If you want, you can extend your legs all the way. We're gonna hold for eight. Eight. Yes. This is all core, friends. Okay, it's a little hip flexor too. Come on, you can bend your knees here. Lift your chest. For four, three, two, one, and done. Woo! -hoo. We did it. Go ahead and bend your knees in towards your chest. Amazing work. I'm gonna slow us down a little bit here. Okay, we're gonna stretch. That was super fun. And I feel like that we really got a lot done in a short time. Did you guys like it? Let me know. Okay. So once you've done a little bit of rolling of your back here, and once you've stretched your body out long, 
let your rib cage expand. Let that natural arch happen in your lower back. That's okay. Good. And then we're gonna turn over onto our sides and press up. Okay, face front. Bend one knee in. Extend the other leg. From here, we're gonna lean forward towards the bent knee. Great. So we're actually stretching the glute and hamstring of the front leg. That other leg is extended. Good job. So I'm gonna mix it up in this class. We'll do Pilates sometimes, we'll do other things sometimes, but it's always gonna be um, continuous. Good, okay, so take that leg that's extended, bend it, okay, so we're coming into a little mermaid here. Little side to side, lean. I kind of like being with you guys at this one o'clock hour. It feels like the gym's quieter. <laughs> Okay, and hold it to the center, good. Let's change to the other side. So extend that leg out, bend that knee in. Situate yourself so that you're comfortable sitting on your bones back there and then lean forward until you feel a stretch in the inner thigh of the extended leg and the glute of the back leg. Beautiful. Breathe, ah, lean into it. Woo. And then sit up. Okay, so we're gonna take that extended leg, bend it, bring your heel towards your bum, and take a few mermaid stretches that feel amazing, right? Good, we got the blood pumping today, guys. Great job, one more. And bring it back to the center. Take that leg, bring it out. Okay, we're gonna take both legs out in front, lean forward into a forward fold, grab your ankles or your feet, and stretch out your hamstrings and your back. You can relax your forehead down towards your knees here. And then sit up, cross one leg over the other, give it a little twist in towards your chest, and then rotate and look back, stretching out the spine. This is a good one after we do bar because we, we actually work the lower back a lot, okay? Change. So hug it in towards your body, and if you want more, you can look back over your back shoulder. But that's part of the good thing about bar too, is that it does strengthen your lower back, which we all need. I'm gonna just, <laughs> take a leap of faith and say we all need that. Roll it up and then finish with a big inhale up and exhale. Woo! Thank you for joining me for the premiere of Bar Fit at one o'clock on Wednesdays. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.